If you have this lead-in issue where there's just a lot of lead-ins uh, when you're trying to cut something on your plasma cutter, uh, that usually means your, your DXF file is broken and you need to repair it, which usually it's not that hard to do for the most part. A lot of these shapes are pretty simple, um, so it's pretty quick. So what I'll start with is going into Fusion 360 and then go to Insert, DXF, select your plane, find your DXF file. Okay, now once you've had the file inserted, um, just do a simple extrusion. Um, doesn't matter what size; you just need to you just need to create a body. And then um, once you create that body, um, what you need to do is do a new sketch on the top surface. Hit P for project. Project the body. Hit OK. Finish sketch. And then take that new sketch. And you want to save that as a DXF and that will give you a DXF file that will actually work with your plasma table and I'll show you why in just a second. Okay so the top file is my fixed repaired DXF file and my bottom file is the original one that I got. Um, as you can see um, when, you, when you kind of zoom in there's all these points everywhere that's probably where the DXF file is broken and the plasma the plasma cutter doesn't know where it just it just sees a bunch of lead-ins but when you do the when you when you generate your own DXF file from Fusion 360 here's the difference so let's try to fill the the broken one with uh, let's say black and see how it just it doesn't know how to fill it so if I take the fixed one where we've repaired it and we've generated our own pass, now I'll fill this one with black and we get a solid piece. And so the plasma tables need to be able to see this solid to to generate their tool pass to work to to operate properly. And that's all you got to do.